All right, now if you just got the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra, here are some very important settings you need to immediately change. Without wasting any time, let's dive right into the video. Now, when you look at the screen on the Galaxy S25 Ultra, you will feel that the vividness is missing. For that, all you need to do is just go to the settings here, tap on display settings, scroll down, you will see screen mode. Tap on that and make sure you have selected vivid and now tap on advanced settings. Now this is where you will get this all new settings which Samsung recently introduced to change the vividness of the screen. Now depending on how much vividness you need, you can set it. If I'm not wrong, by default it is set to minimum. You can set to the center here or you can maximize it to make the screen look vibrant and colorful. And if you want to play with these uh, white balance, you can do that as well using these bars. But I would suggest you not to touch this. Just use the vividness bar here to customize it. I would prefer natural looking colors. At the same time, I want some vividness as well. So I will set it to the center here. Next, protecting your battery is a very essential aspect when you buy a smartphone because you want to use the phone for longer time. Now for this, we have got a setting here on One UI 7 on the Galaxy S25 Ultra. Go to the settings, tap on battery and here you see battery protection. Just tap on that and enable this option. Now you get to see three different options here. One is basic. When your battery is charged to 100%, charging will stop until the battery level drops down to 95% and then it starts charging. Now this happens while you have plugged in the charger. If the charger is plugged in, the phone will not charge continuously even after it reaches 100% level. And when the battery drops to 95%, it will start charging the phone again. This happens when you have forgotten to unplug the charger. Second option is adaptive charging. Stops charging at 80% while you are asleep. Let's say if you are charging the phone during the night, if you're plugged in the charger, the phone will automatically recognize that you have plugged it in during the night. It will stop charging when it reaches 80% and it will switch to basic, which is the first mode here before you wake up. And the sleep time is estimated based on your phone's usage patterns. And the third option is very important here. We have got maximum protection. Your battery will stop charging when it reaches 95%, but this can be customized. We can set it to 80%, 85%, 90%, and 95%. Now I would prefer 95% because I need the battery to last long the entire day. And yet I want to protect some battery. So I would choose maximum and set it to 95%. But if you are a light user, you don't really need 95%. You can charge it up to 85% or 90%. This will increase the battery lifespan. It clearly says here, keeping your battery at a full 100% charge for a long time can reduce its lifespan. Choose an option below to protect your battery and make it last longer. So make sure you select the desired option here, depending on your requirement. Next, on the Galaxy S25 Ultra, by default, when you press and hold on the side key, you will be able to activate Gemini here. Now, if you do not want Gemini on the side key, you will be able to customize that. All you need to do is just uh, tap on this power off button. You will find side button settings. You will also be able to find this on the settings menu itself. Now here you will see double press option. I have set it to torch and long press option. I have set the digital assistant to Google. Now this is the most preferred, but if you want to change it, you can change it to Bixby or you'll be able to change it to power off menu. If I set it to power off menu, I don't really have to swipe down here and then tap on this power off menu. I can just press and hold on this to activate the power off menu. If I select Bixby, I will be able to activate it by pressing and holding on this. But if you want to change it, you will be able to change it by uh, selecting these options. Now to swipe down the notification panel or the quick panel, you will have to go all the way to the top and then swipe down to see the notification panel or quick panel. Now, instead of this, you'll be able to just swipe on the screen to open the notification panel, and you'll also be able to swipe towards the right to access the quick panel. Now, this will be very useful when you're using the phone in just one hand. It becomes difficult to reach the top when you're using the phone in one hand. So you can enable the settings by just pressing and holding on the home screen, tap on the settings here, scroll all the way down, you will see this option swipe down for notification panel. Just enable it. You'll be able to just swipe down on the screen to access the notification panel and then swipe towards the right to access the quick panel. The next setting you're going to enable will save a lot of battery on your Galaxy phone. Just go to the settings, tap on device care, and here you will see performance profile. Now by default, it is set to standard, which provides the recommended balance between processing speed, battery life, and cooling efficiency and it does consume good amount of battery. But if you want to save some battery, then you can just select the light performance. This prioritizes battery life and cooling efficiency over processing speed. Now, if you're a light to moderate user, you don't really need the standard profile. You can set light profile. 
and you will be able to extend the battery life by at least about 30 minutes to 45 minutes which will be definitely useful. But if you are a gamer and you use the phone for graphic intensive tasks then you can set it to standard but for a moderate or a normal user light performance will be best to save some battery. Now while you have set the phone to light performance mode you can also set the phone to QHD display to get the best out of this beautiful looking display. For that all you need to do is just go to the settings and tap on display and here by default the phone is set to full HD plus just select QHD plus and apply it. It does consume a bit extra battery however since you have set the phone to light performance mode that will compensate the battery consumed by the screen. So you can get a good battery performance while you have set the screen to QHD plus display. But if you want slightly better battery then you can prioritize that and you can just set this to full HD display as well. Now on this battery bar on the top right corner it is a little difficult to uh, see the battery percentage when you don't see the numbers. So for that you can just go to the settings, tap on battery, scroll all the way down you can see show battery percentage just enable this you will be able to see the battery percentage right on this battery bar. Next if your phone is rocking a 12 GB RAM or more then you don't really need this RAM plus feature. So you can go ahead and disable it, tap on uh, the settings and tap on device care and here tap on memory. Scroll down you have got RAM plus right here. By default it is enabled, it is selected 8 GB. What you can do is just disable it and tap on restart because this requires restart you can just restart the phone to disable RAM plus. Now the reason you need to disable this is because RAM plus uses your phone storage space to provide virtual memory. So this is consuming the memory from the phone storage and you don't really need this additional RAM when you have 12 GB or more RAM already available on your phone. Especially for the Galaxy S25 Ultra you don't really need this you can disable it to get that additional storage space on your phone. Next go to the settings, tap on device care and here scroll down tap on auto optimization. Now by default the auto restart is set to off. Just make sure you enable this option. Device care automatically performs optimizations to keep your phone running smoothly. This includes closing background applications and cleaning memory. So we don't really have to clean the memory or auto restart manually. Just tap on auto restart here. You've got two options restart when needed, restart on schedule. So if you want to set a specific schedule, a specific day and time you can do that. I would suggest you to select restart when needed, just enable it so that the phone clears all the junk automatically and it restarts the phone to keep the phone running smoothly. Now if you have a Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra you've got a feature called now bar on One UI 7 which shows some important information on the lock screen and you'll also be able to see the live scores of your favorite sports on the lock screen itself. And if you want to add a specific favorite sport all you need to do is just go to the settings, tap on lock screen and AOD and tap on now bar. Here you will see sports from Google. Just tap on this and tap on sports from Google settings. Now this is where you will be able to see all the sports and you can select the one that you want. I'm already following cricket here. I've got recommended options. If I want to follow Premier League I can just tap on this and uh, select the team that I want to follow and I can select other sports as well. There is a huge list of sports which you can follow. So if you are specifically interested in a team or in a sports then you will be able to add it by coming to this settings and select the sports and tap on continue and tap on finish. That is when you'll be able to see your favorite team sports and its scores as a live notification right there on your lock screen on the now bar. Now if you've got a brand new Samsung Galaxy phone you need to make sure the phone is up to date. Not only the security patch you also need to check the Google Play system updates for that go to the settings, tap on security and privacy and tap on updates. Now here you will see security update. This is the latest update I have got on the Galaxy phone. This update is from Samsung's end and Android's end. And then we have got Google Play system update. Make sure you tap on this and check the update. If there is any update available from Google Play system go ahead and install it. This will keep your phone safe and secure. So you need to make sure both the security update as well as the Google Play system update is up to date on your device. Now Samsung has introduced a brand new feature called auto blocker and it is enabled by default. You can go to the settings and tap on security and privacy here and tap on auto blocker. Now by default this is enabled and when you tap on it you get another option here called maximum restrictions. This provides extra strong protection for people who may be the target of sophisticated cyber attacks. Most people don't need this level of protection. If you turn this on some of your phone's features will be restricted. Now if you think you need this feature 
then you can go ahead and enable this. What this does is, this will turn on app protection, blocks device admin applications, blocks 2G networks, blocks auto reconnection to non-secure Wi-Fi networks, blocks auto downloading attachments, blocks hyperlinks and previews, removes location data when sharing pictures, and in gallery blocks shared albums, removes location data when sharing pictures. Now this is a very high level of security, just in case if you want it, go ahead and enable it. And if you think you don't need this level of security, you can just leave it as it is. The next thing that you may want to do is set up your medical information on the lock screen. For that, all you need to do is just go to the settings, tap on safety and emergency, tap on medical info. It says by default, the medical information you add will be available from the lock screen. This makes it available to first responders in an emergency. But it also means that anyone can view it without unlocking your phone. Again, this is a feature available on your phone. If you want it, you can go ahead and confirm and you will be able to add your name, medical conditions, blood type, allergies, current medications, weight, height, date of birth, address, organ donor, medical notes, all this data can be added or you can specifically select the data that you want to add and then tap on save. The first responders will be able to see the data on the lock screen to help you out in the case of emergency. Now let's say you are going through an article and you want to show that article to somebody else sitting next to you, maybe your friend or your family member and you might want to hand over your phone. And when you do that, the other person will be able to quickly swipe up and go to your home screen and will be able to access any other applications that he or she wants. Now for this, there is a privacy feature called pin application. What it does is, if you are handing over the phone to somebody else with a specific application pinned, they will not be able to access anything else on the phone apart from the application that is already open on the screen. Now for this, all you need to do is just go to the settings, go to the security and privacy settings, scroll all the way down and tap on more security settings. This is where you will see this option, allow apps to be pinned. After you enable this, when you go to the recent application, you can tap on the icon here. You will get this option, pin this application. And when I pin that, you see, to unpin this app, swipe up and hold it says. I'll tap on OK. Now I will be able to access only this application. I can't swipe up on the home screen to go back. And not just that, even the quick panel or the notification panel will not be accessible if I swipe from the top right or top left. So it is completely private. And to access the phone, all you need to do is swipe up and hold here. And that is when it will ask the pin. Only when you enter the pin or use your fingerprint, you will be able to access the phone. So the other person will not have any access to your phone at all, apart from the application that is open. Next, whenever you download an application from the Play Store, you struggle to search for it on the app tray because you have to go to the app tray and then search for that application and then open it. Instead, what you can do is just press and hold on the home screen and tap on settings. Scroll down, you get this option called add new applications to home screen. Just enable this. Now, whenever you install an application, it will come sit right here on the home screen so that you can quickly access it. Now, these are some important settings you need to change or you need to make use of on your brand new Galaxy S25 series. And this is also applicable to more or less all the Samsung Galaxy phones. So go ahead, make these changes to get the best out of your Galaxy phone. Now, if you like this video, do hit the like button. And if you want to know more about your devices, go ahead, subscribe to the channel. And if you haven't downloaded our brand new wallpaper application called Wallverse yet, go ahead, download it. There are some beautiful wallpapers available on the application. The app is free to download. The wallpapers are free to download with ads. And if you want to get rid of ads and unlock the premium collections, you can go for lifetime subscription at a minimum cost. So go ahead, check it out. The link is in the description. Thanks for watching. My name is Salyan signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.